Ten years ago, when you were here, I mean, this was a, a year before the crisis happened, before the Lehman collapse. What's the biggest change you see now versus then? I mean, the financial system in the United States has changed radically. Uh, leverage has been reduced enormously. Risk has been reduced enormously in the banking system. I, you know, I think the regulators in the United States actually did a very good job post-crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, for the first time in all the years that I've covered bank stocks, I can honestly say I think the financial system in the United States is safe. Yeah, you said you're sleeping a little bit better at night yes. these days. But uh, you know, do you think banks globally are, are generally in better shape now? I mean, you talk about how banks were too big to fail back then. We see the balance sheets of many of the American banks have now ballooned as well. Chinese banks are the largest in the world. Do you think we fixed the structural issues now? I can only speak downturn? about the United States being in far better shape than it was. I'd say Europe is better, but not good enough. I think Canada is okay, mm -hmm. but I think Canada is going to have some issues with their housing market. I can't really speak to Asia. Mm. Uh, what about the human element of what really led to the crisis? I mean, the greed factor of all this. I think it was Whitney Tulson recently that said, it seems like we're seeing a little bit more sanity and stupid in what we saw back then. Do you agree? I think the incentive structures back then were warped. The people who ran securitization desks were compensated purely on volume. You know, one of the things I like to say about the financial crisis that we learned is that incentives trump ethics every time, mm -hmm. and the incentives were poor. They're better now, but they were very poor back then. You mentioned Europe can, can do a little bit better. You've, you've been pretty negative about some of these European banks. Uh, what are your thoughts now about Deutsche Bank and the others, which I think they're still kind of in the thick of their problems right now? You know, Deutsche Bank has real profitability issues. They haven't spent money on technology in a very, very long time. It's, they're probably undercapitalized. I think they'll probably raise capital again next year. Um, Deutsche Bank's a problem bank. I think it has to shrink dramatically. You're seeing more consolidation, you think, in, in, in some of these European banks? Or? I, don't, I can't speak to Europe whether there'll be consolidation or not. I, I think there's definitely going to be consolidation in the United States, mm -hmm. which is driven by uh, how much companies like J.P. Morgan are spending on technology, which is about 10 to $11 billion a year, yeah. versus much smaller amounts to the regional banks. So the regions are going to have to merge to bulk up. I know you don't look too much into China now, but what, what do you think is, you know, if, if you talk about excessive leverage, is that where we're going to see the root of it now in this time of, of the cycle? I mean, what do you think China is in the cycle at the moment? I'm not going to comment on China. <laughs> I, I haven't studied China in a very long time, okay. and I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to talk about it.